The circle of my life is closing fast. I feel that my recent works finally reflect the long and tumultuous journey. Born in Russia, I was taken to Germany during the Second World War and at the age of 12 followed my mother across the war torn Europe. During that journey, we were subjected to medical experiments, cold, hunger, and unimaginable degradation. The humiliation of that time has left its legacy. It has also left a need to paint instinctively about the displaced, the dispossessed, and the plight of women. More often than not, my inspiration is drawn from memories of fear, human endurance, but above all, human kindness. My name is Tamara Bekir, and I'm an artist. I live in Australia. I'm Russian born. And that's my story. <laughs> I was 48 years old. I felt I loved my husband, I loved my children, I loved my life, I loved the house. But there was a, something was missing. There was always something missing in my life. Our first holiday on the beach in Australia, 40 years ago, I witnessed a sunset that I had never seen in my whole life, in all my travels before. It was powerful, it was magic. The colors were unbelievable. If anybody told me that before, that there would be purples and orange and reds in the sky reflecting on the ocean, I would not have believed it. So the next day I thought, right, I'm going to photograph it, which I did wasn't enough. So I went and bought watercolors, a pad, and did a drawing. And it was atrocious. So when we came back, I enrolled in drawing classes, in painting classes, in flower arrangement classes. And that, that's when the journey started. I'm going to do art for as long as I can breathe. By now it's an addiction. Now I just need to. In the beginning I started to prove something that I can do it. Then I began to love it. And then I think, it, I didn't know it, but it must have been therapy because all the memories of the war, they're so horrific. I have seen people killed. I mean, how does a child deal with that and how do you get over it while i paint i never think of those things so while i paint i'm in a different world i just love beautiful things i need to surround myself with beauty i have seen enough blood and ugliness if there's no beauty and love what else is there love i feel firstly two different worlds but i feel, i don't feel i belong anywhere I don't know who I am. And that must reflect in all my paintings because the worlds are divided as I must be. But for some reason, the painting centers me because here I have control. See, in my life, I didn't have control. I was taken away from home. I had to emigrate. But here, Actually, I have choices, don't I? And even though it was incredibly difficult beginning for me during the war and the hunger, I am the privileged one to have finished up being in Australia, having this studio and being able to do what I want to do and now need to do. And it's interesting to think about all the atrocities that I'm actually a survivor. So how lucky is that? How fortunate is that? That's a fortunate life.